Hi friends, in this video, we are going to learn about a very efficient tool for assessing water quality of a water source. This particular tool is known as the Water Quality Index, in short, WQI. Water Quality Index is basically a convenient tool to determine the water quality and represent it in a simple and understandable way. It integrates all the parameters while comparing with the standards recommended by the government authorities to safeguard human health. These indices represent water quality by a simple unitless value which can easily be communicated to the administration or to the common people. In the mid-20th century, water quality was quantitatively categorized by Horton developing the first WQI model in the literature. It was further modified by Brown et al. in collaboration with the National Sanitation Foundation of USA, which came to be known as the NSF WQI. Some more examples of the various popular water quality indices are the CCME WQI, the OWQI, the WAWQI, the PCWQI, etc. Now let's see why is it so important. WQI makes it possible to represent complex and bulk water quality data in a simple and understandable way. If you're working on water quality analysis, then you must be assessing multiple parameters over a wide range of time, which can be months, seasons, or years. As a result, you attain huge amount of data points. To compare and assess such bulk amount of data, you need some specialized tool. That is where WQI comes in use. Also, when you are comparing measured value of parameters to prescribed standards and value of some parameters fall beyond the prescribed limits, what will you conclude? With WQI, you can evaluate such values and ascertain the overall status of the water quality. In the table, you can see the value of ammonium nitrogen to be 5 mg per litre, which is much higher than the limit prescribed by WHO for drinking water. Similarly, fluoride and total hardness also show higher measured values than the prescribed standard limits, whereas values of the other parameters like boron, chloride, sodium, and nitrate nitrogen are well within the prescribed limits. Therefore, to put all these values in a common frame of comparison, you need to use a tool like WQI. There are various categories of WQI. The public indices are used for general water quality analysis without taking into account the type of consumption. The specific consumption indices take into consideration the type of water consumption or application. The planning indices, as the name says, contribute towards planning water quality management and helps in administrative decision making. The statistical indices are based on statistical methods and are devoid of subjective contributions like expert opinion. Coming on to the steps involved in calculation of WQI. The first and foremost step, that is, selection of parameters, is primarily based on the purpose for which the water quality is being evaluated. For example, for drinking purpose, microbial parameter like total coliform count and fecal coliform count, physicochemical parameters like turbidity, pH, total hardness, etc. are of great importance. Whereas for irrigation, nutrient parameters like nitrate, ammonia, phosphate, sulfate and various other ions find great importance. Apart from that, several other factors need to be considered like geomorphology of the area, characteristics of the water body, vicinity to industries, etc. Now before proceeding to the next step, have a look of this mathematical expression. WQI equal to summation of WI into QI, where WI is the weightage, determination of which forms the second step, and 
QI is the sub-index, determination of which forms the third step of finding WQI. In the next step, these two factors, WI and QI, are integrated in the mathematical expression to find the overall WQI. We will elaborate and understand each of the steps by calculating WQI of a water source for drinking purpose. For this, we will use the mathematical expression that is provided here. Weightage can be determined based on literature review or expert opinion or different mathematical formula. Here weightage is determined based on mathematical formula. For this, first, you have to decide upon a water quality standard that you will refer. Here we are referring to IS 10500-2012 by the Bureau of Indian Standards. From equation 2, we can see weightage is equal to unit weightage divided by summation 1 to n unit weightage. Now, unit weightage is inversely proportional to the standard value that is SI. Now, to convert this proportionality relation into equation, we have to introduce a proportionality constant K. Therefore, unit weightage becomes equal to K divided by SI, where K is equal to 1 divided by summation 1 by SI. In the adjacent table, we can see the first column comprises the selected parameters like pH, TDS, calcium, magnesium, etc. In the second column, the recommended standard value, that is SI, are provided. In the third column, 1 by SI is calculated. All the values of 1 by SI are then added to find summation 1 by SI, which comes out to be 134.756. From this, the value of K can be calculated as 1 divided by summation 1 by SI or 1 divided by 134.756, which equals 0 0.007421. Now, we have the value of K and the value of 1 by SI for each parameter. We can find out unit weightage of each parameter by multiplying these two values, which is provided in the fourth column. Adding all the values of unit weightage in fourth column gives 1. Therefore, the denominator of equation 2 is equal to 1. So, weightage equals unit weightage. This is how weightage can be determined. To calculate the subindices, we have used the formula QI is equal to 100 into VI divided by SI, where QI is equal to subindex of the ith parameter, SI is equal to recommended standard for the ith parameter, and VI is equal to monitored or measured value of the ith parameter. We can see from the table that the measured value of TDS is given as 230 mg per litre. And from previous slide, we have seen that the recommended standard for TDS was given as 500 mg per litre. Therefore, QTDS is equal to measured value of TDS divided by standard value of TDS into 100. That gives 100 into 230 divided by 500. Since the measured value and the standard value of a particular parameter will have the same unit, so dividing them makes the resultant value unitless and comparable across different parameters. In the fourth and final step, we multiply the values of weightage and subindex for each parameters and then add these values for all the parameters to obtain the overall WQI. For this final step, Various aggregation functions are used, which include arithmetic aggregation, multiplicative aggregation, harmonic mean, etc., to optimize the sensitivity of the method. In this formula, arithmetic aggregation is used. The WQI value is then categorized in few classes, which will define the status of water quality. For example, here 5 categorization ranking is taken. In the table, you can see Ranking between 0 to 25 represents excellent water quality for drinking purpose. 
ranking between 25 to 50 represents slightly polluted but good water quality. Ranking between 50 to 75 represents moderately polluted or poor water quality. Ranking between 75 and 100 represents polluted water quality. And above 100, it represents excessively polluted or unsuitable water for drinking. The critical value of 100 was estimated as the WQI index where the measured value will correspond to the limiting value of the recommended standard. Here we have found the critical point from the previously mentioned equation QI is equal to 100 into VI divided by SI by putting VI equal to SI which makes QI equal to 100. And since summation of WI is 1, therefore WQI becomes 1 into 100 which gives 100. Categorization can be obtained from literature review from prior field knowledge or can also be calculated in various ways. So this is one of the many possible ways by which you can obtain the water quality index. If you have doubts or questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. Also, you can recommend topics of your need related to environmental studies. We will try our best to explain them in our videos. Have a great time and stay safe.